G'day folks and thanks for joining us on Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures. Sit back and relax. Let's do a spot of fishing together. Fantastic. Wagons, ho, oh, oh. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Just when they think it's safe to come out. Oh, it's not an animal. Bang. I guess in the end, that's probably why we all go fishing. <laughs> We've come ashore on one of the Bromby Island group a couple of hours north from Gove and Viv Thistlewaite has dropped us off from the swordfish in one of the dinghies here on the beach and we're about to do one of our favourite kinds of fishing, a little bit of sight fishing in shallow water. Bushy, this is not a real big island. You go that way, I'll go this way and we'll meet up here in the middle, alright? Sounds good to me. If I catch a fish, I'll yell. This is fantastic fun, just walking around this island here in the Bromby group, throwing a fly into the surf, and I've had several strikes, and finally this bloke has come out and absolutely nailed it. This is what's known as a, a Spanish flag, also known as a stripey. It's a member of the Lujanid clan, the same fish that contains the uh, mangrove jack and the red bass, as you can tell from the teeth, and those, uh, those big intelligent looking eyes. This one doesn't grow very big, probably two or three times as the size of this is about as big as it gets, maybe up to two kilos, absolutely maximum. This guy's about 400 grams, I guess. But uh, they're a real little predator, even at that size. Very slow growing, too, these stripies. This one could already be 10 or 12 years old, and a kilo-plus specimen is likely to be over 20 years old. They're one of the slower growing and one of the smaller of the Lutjanid clan. All right, well, I'll get the hook out of this one. Back you go, mate and I'll just keep dropping this fly into the pockets behind these rocks. This is good fun, I like this. The setup I'm using here consists of an unweighted fly. It's a little deceiver. The only weight in the fly is the hook itself. So it sinks quite slowly, but I'm using an intermediate or slow sinking fly line which actually will drop down through the water if I let it. Now the nice thing about this system is that if I start stripping, as soon as that fly hits the water, it'll run along just a couple of centimetres under the surface, over the top of all these rocks and coral outcrops, and I won't get snagged, hopefully. But then when I get to a bit of a gap or a hole, I can let it sink down and the fly line will take the fly down into those dark nooks and crannies where the predators hang out. I tell you what, it's a very effective way to go fly fishing. Come and have a look at this, folks. The things you see when you're walking along one of these beaches out on one of these tropical islands. I'm looking for fish in the shallows, but I just glanced up here, and there's a drag mark here in the sand. 
where a creature has come out of the water, gone up there and come back down. And the only thing it could possibly be to leave marks like this is a small saltwater crocodile. I'd say he's actually been up here having a look to see if some of these birds are nesting to maybe knock off an egg or a little fledgling bird. He's probably lay up there in the sun for a little while and then he's crawled back down into the sea and swum away. Now look, we're miles from the coast here. This is not the sort of environment that most people think of for finding saltwater crocodiles, but believe me, they're out here. This one was probably only that long, but there's no reason why there couldn't be a three or four or five metre crocodile swimming around in these waters. It's something worth bearing in mind. I don't think I'll tell Bushy, he hates crocodiles. <laughs> fish? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a little barracuda. You cheeky little fella. Look at that. Oh, he absolutely inhaled that fly. Oh, I'm not going to like putting my fingers in there very much. Might have to go in through the gills. There we go. That's come out. Now, will you let go, mate? Yes, you will. What a little beauty. That's a juvenile greater barracuda. That bloke could grow to two metres long, given enough time. But he's an absolute little classic at the moment. He looks like a scale model of a big barracuda. I'll tell you what, there's a few others in here too. Shooting back in, see if the others want to play. Oh, oh yeah, Bushy! <laughs> oh, oh, you have got Buckley's, Bushy. That's a huge cod. Oh, oh, no. Bushy. Oh, we just had a huge estuary cod about that long come right out under my feet. Woo! This is an interesting place, I can tell you that. Oh, Stevie. Oh, Bushy, I thought you had that cod. Oh, I was hoping <laughs> you didn't see that. It was about that big, it was a bit hard to miss. I reckon it was about 20 kilos. I just finished telling the folks that we weren't going to catch any records doing this, but if you'd landed that cod, we'd have caught a few records. Well, it's the biggest thing I've ever had eat a fly in about three feet of water. If there was three feet there, I'll be amazed. That was incredible. I caught a couple of little uh, stripies and stuff over the other side there and a couple of barracuda. But I tell you what, that was just a bit of a warm up in more ways than one. It's pretty hot here. But Viv's on his way back in in one of the swordfish's dinghies, and we're going to head out the other side of the island, and right after the break, we're going to show you some serious Bromby Island fishing. What do you reckon, mate? Sounds good. Here he comes. I know you didn't see the shark, but... Now I got him. Ah, oh, well, Bushy, another day, another fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, it was another fish. Oh, you lost yours. I think I got cut off. Oh, really? Yeah, something's bitten oh. everything. Mine's a... Nice, Queenie, how's that for a jump? <laughs> mm, I have nothing. Oh, he's going ballistic. Oh, big shark. Oh, dear. Big shark. Oh, oh. no. Oh, Bushy, oh, no. help him. Oh, he got him. No, he hasn't. Now. now he has. Oh, no, Bushy. Oh, Bushy. That's more a parlor. Get it out of there. I'm trying. Oh, that's what it's like up here. We've come out this morning out of Elizabeth Bay near Cape Wilberforce, and we're heading up into the beginning of the Bromby Islands after another beautiful night's sleep on the air-conditioned swordfish and uh, straight into it as soon as we put the lures in the water. I hooked a lovely queen fish. I think Bushy had one on as well. He's got eaten and so did his lure. The trouble is, there's still a bit of queenfish head on this lure. And I, every time I try and get it away from them, the sharks come after it again. Oh, I tell you what, talk about the law of the wild. Uh, Bushy, you remember your Rapala? I remember him well. Look, his look name was big, Fred. He's mean like that now. <laughs> the poor thing. Uh, 
And this Queenie, well, I don't even think Rex could kiss that one back to life. It, uh, well, at least it was quick, mate. Can you imagine what it would be like to fall in there? Not a good experience. Ooh. I think I might have a shark now. I don't know what I started off with. Oh. Yeah, it's changed a bit, hasn't it? Yes, I think it's a bit sharky now. It's changed a lot. I'm not sure. But... Oh, he might have spat it. This is a deadly place. Things don't have a real long survival time when they're hooked, do they? No, and they start vibrating. I wouldn't mind betting whatever I've had's been eaten and then spat out, I think. Oh, and then eaten again? It been spat out for very long. <laughs> if it spits it out again, Bushy, you pull it in. Really fast. Oh, look at it. Oh, dear. Look at the Queenie swimming along behind the shark. You would not believe Look that. Look at you? that. This uh, poor old gaff's got a few dog legs in it from the last time I did this. We'll see how we go this time. Okay. Oh, oh maybe not okay. Gee, he's got it in pretty deep, Bushy. I'm just going to try and... Oh! Finally oh, happened! the Black Death! The Black Death has died! <laughs> Look, at, Look at that. He has caught such a tonnage of fish on this thing. And finally, here we are off Gove and the Black Death. We're going to have to have a, a burial at sea this afternoon, I think. 15 years thing. old. <laughs> I want the rest of it. Let me get the rest of it before you get the fish. I need him for a decent burial. Okay, okay you hang on to that bit. I'll hang on to that bit of the Black Death. Now, I'm not making any promises about getting this lure back, but I'll give it a go. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. <sighs> <sighs> oh, no. Finally, had to happen. I guess it did. Look that thing that. has had such horrendous bends in it for so many years. <sighs> oh, it's a not, bit sad, though, isn't it? Not bad for a six kilo rod that ended up having 50 pound Joel's one used on it for about the last 10 years. Oh, well, the death of the Black Death. Now I've got an advantage. Look out. <laughs> Just because you're on a wilderness expedition and your rod dies, no need to throw it over the side and give up. Especially when it's something as uh, important as the Black Death. You just use whatever materials are available. Give yourself a generous overlap. And I reckon this will catch another fish before the day's over. Maybe. No, but I hope it's not after my fish. Oh no, don't do that to me. The old uh, Black Death repair seems to be hanging in there all right, Bushy. Oh, it's nothing to the Black Death, mate. That's only a flesh wound. <laughs> Can't stop the old Black Death that easy. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, that's I think, quite a big thing. Think that's a, a very big thing. Oh, 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 you think so? I... No, well, that or a big, big barracuda. I don't think it's a trevally. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I like the other thing that keeps trying to bite your line. Yes, goes that's a really water. handy thing to happen, that. <laughs> Where the line cuts the surface of the water, it makes a little V, and these little oceanic queenies are chopping at it because they think it's another fish. You oh. hope they're little oceanic queenies and not little mackerel, mate. Oh. Otherwise, it'll be all over. That's a pretty big, long silver fish, Steve. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but... I've got a good feeling. Now we get a bit of a look at... Uh, how the old repair job holds out. Up and down on the GT next to the boat. I think he's wrapped himself up and done something funny there too. He's a nice fish. He's a nice GT. Oh, he's a lovely fish. Do you think that breakage could make the Black Death a bit luckier, Steve? I couldn't be much luckier than it was. Oh, no, 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 stop fish. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he's coming out. Circling out. That's what you need, folks, in a fight like this. Good boat driver. We've done this a million times. And he's right on top of it. I'll be glad that this thing's in the boat. That's <laughs> <laughs> what we mean when we say we've got colour. It means you can just see the fish down deep in the water. Hmm. Splitting Galfie wants to 
That's it, that's the most important thing, folks. If you're getting to this stage and you've got the chance to grab a fish, Steve's just taking his time, and if it bolts, he'll let it go, like that. Like that, and I don't wrap the, the trace around my hand, I'm just bending it, just putting a little bit more tension on it than Bushy's able to through the rod. Got him at a funny, funny sort of angle here, but... I swap to the gloved hand, oh, and drop him. Now, I've obviously got the glove on the wrong hand. I was keeping my right hand free to use the pliers, but I think I'm going to have to go for the right-handed grab. Now I've got him. Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I don't know who's got who uh, here. Better hold him up and give the folks a look at him. I will do. There's your fish. Ooh. A very handsome specimen. Thank you, Steve. I was definitely talking about the fish. Look at that. I mean, that's like a rabbit trap. <sighs> we get him back in there, Bushy? Yep, give him a swim, Steve. Can I give him a little peck? Yes, you can. I think I might even have to do it. The last fish on the Black Death. There you go, mate. Oh, this thing, this thing, I thought I'd got rid of it. <laughs> he's fixed it and he's still catching fish on it. I do not believe it. That's it, Bushy, we're going back for breakfast. Oh, dear.